I love this place. It's everything I have ever dreamed of. I can see Westminster over there. And is this Big Ben? Let me ask you, what's your budget? It's 300 pounds. Well, please follow me. For 300 pounds, all I can offer is this amazing, luxurious, fully furnished, well lit studio apartment. Is in a great area. What do you think? Hello beautiful people and happy new year to everyone. This is my first video for this year and I'm so excited to be sharing more useful information about London with you and of course take you with me traveling whenever we get to travel again. In today's video I want to share with you how much money do I spend in a month giving you an exact breakdown of uh, the prices of rent, bills, gyms, leisure time, traveling and any other sorts of subscriptions or extra costs that you need to budget if you're coming to live in London or you're just curious. And stay tuned until the end because I will share with you exactly how much money I pay for every single one of those things and most importantly how do I actually manage to save money while still enjoying my life here in London. Let's start with rent because I would say this would be your biggest expense coming to live in London. The most common thing here to do especially if you're a newcomer to the city is to rent a room not the whole apartment just because it's too expensive. The lowest lowest that you can get is uh, around 500 pounds just to get literally a bed inside a room but you want your room more central add extra 100 pounds to that. A little bit more modern or bigger add a hundred pounds to that or you want your own bathroom a hundred pounds to that so the price can easily get up to 800 pounds if not more for a single room on average you would spend around 700 pounds for a room did you know that on average Londoners spend 49% of their income after tax on housing in more northern England this percentage goes down to 23 if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like that you can subscribe it's totally free you just have to hit the subscribe button down there and oh, you can also turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on videos let's talk about bills then you would usually pay around 10 pounds for gas uh, 12 pounds for water, around 15 pounds for Wi-Fi depending uh, how big is your apartment and with how many people you share the Wi-Fi cost with. Electricity, other 10 pounds. Have you ever heard of Council tax. Well, if you haven't, uh, I'm sure you're not gonna like it. Basically, it's this kind of a city tax that you pay to your local council for the collection rubbish, for cleaning the streets and uh, changes depending in which borough of London do you live in. And uh, it can cost you up to £75 per month but on average it's around 65 subscriptions and other types of bills which you pay on a monthly basis your phone bill which uh, for me is 10 pounds and that's uh, relatively low it's quite common to pay for Netflix which is at least six pounds a month Spotify is also 10 pounds a month and something else very surprising is that here in the UK you have to pay for a TV license which is £12.56 per month. On average, for subscriptions, you would pay £30 per month, your travel expenses. This is more like pre-pandemic, but let's just assume also these costs for the sake of this video. If you're from the US or for a place where you're used to going around the city by car, first of all, I want to warn you that uh, the traffic here is crazy. And also on average, it costs you around £400 per month and this doesn't even include uh, parking tickets which might also add up extra 10 pounds per day and this is actually one of the reasons why Londoners usually choose traveling by public transport and let's be honest it's also way more sustainable and the public transport here is super efficient 
but also quite expensive if I have to be honest with you. It would cost you 138 pounds if you're traveling from zones 1 to 2 which is uh, quite a big area even though it doesn't really sound like that but of course the further away you live from the city center then the more you will pay. My favorite topic which is food. If you shop at bigger supermarkets like Tesco's or Sainsbury's you can easily buy your weekly groceries for 30 pounds. Be careful because those supermarkets also have their little brothers and sisters like Sainsbury's Loco or Tesco Express or Tesco metro which uh, are usually more convenient smaller but also prices are a little bit higher another more kind of bougie supermarkets are waitrose and of course whole foods which just takes like prices and healthy food on another level and something very popular in here are meal deals that are often bought for lunch and they usually include sandwich, some kind of a snack of your choice, it might be crisps or something sweet together with a drink. And if you buy this from the supermarket they would cost £3 but you can go up to 8 Once a week you like taking one of those meal deals because you either don't have time or you just want to change things up on the Friday, then you would spend 20 pounds for those meal deals and also maybe you like taking coffee once a month as well and this would bring your total food cost to 152 pounds per month remember those good old days when we could go out with our friends, have a meal, have a drink and uh, do something nice together it's been so long that I also don't remember it, don't worry, but just for the sake of this video, let's assume that next year things will be better and we could do those things. It would cost you around 15 to 20 pounds for a meal, just a super average regular place. And something also very popular in here is to take a pint of beer with your colleagues after work. The average price of beer here in London costs five pounds. Be very careful because there are actually pubs where a pint of beer can cost you up to 22 pounds, which is just... And if you decide to go to the cinema during the weekend, this would cost you £10. Or if you decide to go to the theatre, prices go from £30 up to £200, I would say. Take a pint of beer with your colleagues only once a week. And you also go out with your friends only once a week for a meal or to go to the cinema. And you would spend around 20, roughly £25 pounds per week and this will bring your monthly free time leisure costs up to a hundred pounds the cost of gyms and doing sports in London so an average gym costs around 40 pounds per month or if you're not a big fan of the gym and you prefer doing uh, some types of classes like yoga pilates this would cost you around 12 pounds if we add all the costs together brings us to a big total of 1270 pounds and 56 pennies and of course you can also bring this budget down and now i want to share with you exactly how much i spent for every single one of those things well actually for rent i spent a little bit more than the average person and i spent 750 pounds because we live in central london and for bills uh i pay in total for absolutely everything including the council tax only 60 pounds because westminster has one of the lowest council tax which is but every week I spend 20 pounds. Reason why I'm able to do that is that we do big weekly shoppings from us. Uh, Sainsbury's buy fruit and veggies from one of those uh, kind of off license stores where they literally sell one bowl of fruit for one pound and I have seen them in many places around London so I would really suggest you looking for one of those because this has been a super big uh, cost saver for me. Subscriptions, I don't actually have a TV so I don't have to pay a TV license and thanks to Ben's sister we don't also pay for Netflix so actually the only subscription which I'm paying at the moment is Adobe for Premiere so I can
can edit my videos for you guys and uh, it costs 15 pounds per month i also pay for my phone travel one of the main reasons why i got this house in the first place here is because it was close to the to my work and i didn't actually have to pay for traveling so i completely eliminated the price of travel and this is also something which i really suggest you doing is that if you know where you would be living try to get a house around there so you don't have to pay for transport every month leisure i would say that guys okay now i'm sure you would think that i'm extremely boring but i actually really enjoy walking and having like super long walks in the neighborhoods around me i also like eating out and spend on an average for leisure and free time 80 pounds did you know that there is this website called today takes which is a digital ticketing platform where they always put on sale lots of plays and you can get tickets for the theater for less than 10 pounds and if you actually want to go to the cinema keep in mind that usually prices during the week can cost to like five or six pounds if you decide to go then instead of during the weekend sports i do yoga at home on my mat in my living room so i also cut completely the cost of sports this is actually how i managed to save money and uh, still enjoy my life here in central london if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe love you all bye